In the dry landscape of Egypt, most people live and farm on a narrow strip of land along the Nile banks and delta, where there is water. In recent years, global crises have interrupted supply chains and increased the cost of food imports. The pressure is on to increase national food production. However, intensive farming practices and climate change are threatening harvests. And in recent years, because of extreme weather induced by climate change, experts say that the land productivity will drop further. The region is already known for water scarcity, which poses a serious challenge for the agricultural sector. Um, add to that the effects of climate change, um, which includes um, like uh, increases in temperature, increases in the occurrence of diseases and pests for the crops, um, seawater intrusion. Climate change experts estimate that global food production could drop by 10% by 2050, putting food security and the livelihoods of millions of people at risk, particularly in developing countries. Small-scale farmers are the most vulnerable. They lack the resources, training and information to adapt. Organizations like ICARDA, the International Center for Arid and Dryland Agriculture, in partnership with Egypt's Agriculture Research Center, are helping farmers find affordable ways to adapt through the creation of race beds and legume crop rotation. Farmers are generally risk averse for good reasons, obviously. Um, so what we do is we demonstrate these innovative solutions on their own fields, in their own conditions. We use field days where farmers come and see the benefits of the applied technologies. I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer for seven years. I'm a farmer. I don't have to buy a farmer. I'm a farmer. And I started, of course, the farmer asked me to do a farmer so that I'm a farmer to provide water and water. Small-scale farmers produce up to 80% of the food consumed in regions such as Sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. So investing in demonstrating the benefits of approaches like raised beds and crop rotation is critical to building resilience to climate change. Yet these farmers received just 1.7% of global climate financing in 2018. $10 billion compared to the estimated $240 billion needed. المشروع ده بيهتم بالصغار المزارعين بان احنا بندعمهم بزراعه القمح والفول بنديهم تقاوم مشروعه فنيه في نقطه مهمه جدا لازم ان احنا نهتم بيها اللي هي الدوره الزراعيه الكروب روتيشن واهميه الدوره الزراعيه هي ان انا واخده محصول بقولي فالمحصول بقولي ده بيعمل نسبه تثبيت لازوت الجو في التربه بيوفر عليا اضافه النيتروجين اللي هو الكيماوي these initiatives demonstrate the importance of diverse farming practices for maintaining food security in changing climate. They also highlight the need for more financing for adaptation. The hope is that COP27 will recognize the critical role played by small-scale producers and provide the support they need to keep feeding the world.